Jesus, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth. The gospel is first and foremost the message of Jesus. It is the person, Jesus Christ, the Messiah sent from heaven. It's declaring who he is. It's taking the spotlight off of me and my life and my problems and turning the attention, shining that spotlight on the Son of God. The person of Jesus is the beginning of the gospel. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To understand the gospel, you need to speak of Jesus. Who is he? He's the Son of God. He's the Son of Man. He's fully human and fully divine. He's the prophet who speaks for God, the final and ultimate prophet. He's the priest who stands between a holy God and a sinful man like me, and as an intermediary, mediates the relationship between God the Father and a sinner like me. And not only is he a priest who stands between, he is the very sacrifice that the priest offers, because rather than bringing a bull or a goat to take away my sin, he brings his own body prepared for this purpose. And he lays down on that cross and is sacrificed as the Lamb of God. He's the priest, but he's also the sacrifice. And he's the king. The king who is coming to reign. And he was presented to Jerusalem riding in on a donkey, but rejected that day. And yet he reigns. Already at the right hand of the Father. Psalm 110, we'll get to that. He's coming again to rule and reign on this earth for a thousand years before creating a new heaven and a new earth. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. When he comes, his name, King of kings and Lord of lords, is written on his thigh. Jesus is the gospel. As John Piper says, God is the gospel. The gospel is this hope of heaven, but what is heaven unless God is there? He is the one we're going to. He's the destination. God is the gospel, and Peter nails it, if I could say so. I'm learning from him, not the other way around. Man, this is a good sermon. Because the first words out of his mouth when he's ready to preach Christ is, Jesus of Nazareth. He preaches Christ. He says he's a man attested by signs and wonders and various miracles that God did through him in your midst. Now we move on to verse 23. We've said the gospel is the person of Christ. The gospel is also the work of Christ. 